Hey there, old guy back again. Hope you're having an awesome day. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be checking out the brand new Fender Basement 30R. So let's take a look.
a couple of disclaimers right off the bat. Um, I've never had a all tube fender amp, and I'm also not a huge fan of the vintage fender amps. Um, I was never a huge fan of the sounds because basically I could never really get them to sound the way I wanted to. Uh, even in the axe effects, uh, I kind of had, you know, here and there experience with that. But um, I had played the Fender uh, Bass Breaker 15, I think it was, and it really blew me away. But of course, I wanted something louder uh, with a couple of channel foot switchable, which the 30R has a foot switch. So it's a clean channel. It also has a clean channel that you can uh, uh, put on a bright switch, which it has on the top. Uh, it also has two gain stages, uh, which you heard. And what's really nice about them is you can use all of them. Um, basically, I think that had this amp been available uh, when I was looking to buy a new amp, uh, I probably would have bought it over the Black Star. Um, I sold the Black Star to finance this purchase. I just at a certain point, the Black Star seemed very dark to me. Uh, at a certain point, too, I couldn't quite get the gain settings to sound pleasing to my ear. I found that they, even both of them, seemed a little bit mushy. Uh, whereas this amp, uh, the the gain settings are are very bright and very articulate. And ultimately, that's really what I love about this amp. Um, it's about as close to a uh, low watt Mesa Boogie type articulation as far as pick attack uh, of anything I've ever tried. It really has that good, bright, um, I guess what they call blooming pick attack, uh, where it really sounds um, like it makes a big difference how you hit the actual notes on each string. So I really like the amp in that regard. Uh, it records very well. I did, somebody asked me uh, on the internet to uh, do a sample of the DI, uh, and I did do that, and I would not recommend DI recording with this amp. These amps are, I mean, that's just more for convenience. Uh, this amp really doesn't do it very well, neither did the Black Star. If you really need to record silently, I would highly recommend either something like an IR loader or a load box like a, a, the Universal Audio Aux, or just get a good interface and use plugins if you have to record silently uh, and you don't want to do it with your amp. But I don't, at this price point, the amps are just not designed really to do that very well. I'm sure they'll tell you they do it great on their factory websites and YouTube videos, but to my ears, it's just you're better off just using uh, mics like I did. Ultimately, it's a great amp. It does everything I need it to do. I really like the gain settings on the amp itself and the foot switchable uh, ability to go from one gain setting to the next. Uh, the clean channel is really nice. It'll do kind of a vintage Fender-y type of tone on the bright switch setting, uh, but otherwise, um, I, I'm not one of those cork sniffers that needs a vintage this or a vintage that, so as long as it sounds good to my ears, I'm okay. Great amp. It's actually quite light. It's only 40 pounds, and it is really loud. Uh, the, the settings I used to record were very low volume, and it can get really, really loud, easily uh, giggable uh, with a loud drummer. Uh, I hope you liked this short review of the Bass Breaker 30R by Fender. If you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up like. If you like what the channel has to offer, please subscribe. That'd be amazing. Uh, have a great day, and I will see you again soon.